Welcome to another episode of One on One. My name is David and I'm joined by Dr. Emily. And today we're talking about practical tips for mentors. Yes, and Dave, so often we encourage mentors to build relationship, build relationship, build relationship with their students. And sometimes it's difficult to know how much do I let my student win when I'm building relationship? Because the mentoring hour often involves games and activities and crafts. And sometimes mentors are confused by whether or not we let our students win all the time, or is that even a healthy practice, or should we win on purpose? And I'm curious if you have thoughts about that. What we're gonna do, Emily, I think, is we need to redefine success here, yeah. okay? Because the, the short answer to your question as far as should a mentor let a child win in a game is yes, sometimes, but not all the time. And what I mean by that is this. Yeah, have, a, have games that you play where they're confidence builders and that your child gets to feel like they really won something and they feel great about themselves and all that. Of course, do that. However, if you let your child win every time, they're losing out on an opportunity to feel what it's like to lose at a game and let life continue going. In other words, losing isn't forever. So, if you're playing a game and your child is going to lose, go ahead, let him or her lose a round, and then play another round right away so that they can see life keeps moving on. And along the way, a real good idea, no matter who wins or who loses in a game, is to always, after every round, shake hands and say, good job, and model good sportsmanship. I think that's really important and a valuable lesson for kids. And so that's success. Having fun in the games, modeling good sportsmanship, that would be success. Now another area that a lot of mentors go into is doing crafts together. I do that with my little guy, I know a lot of people do. But what happens when an eight-year-old doesn't exactly do a craft completely right and it isn't exactly perfect or maybe anywhere near that? Well, do you step in and fix everything? The answer there is no, just let the child build or do the craft, whatever, complete whatever it is. And then if you want to, you can go back and say, well, how could we improve this? For instance, a little guy that I mentor and I spent probably eight weeks working on a little airplane, the kind that has a wind-up propeller and a rubber band and is supposed to fly. Well. It only flew one time, and after that we could never get it to fly again. And we tried, we tried, we tried, we tried. And we never got it to lift up off the ground. Now, was that a failure? No, it was a success because we still laugh about the airplane. And we had a great time, and we tried different things. Mm -hmm. And they were, a lot of times, his ideas. Sometimes my ideas, too. None of them worked. But along the way what happened is we had a blast together and so was the model airplane a success yes and no flying wasn't a success building the relationship definitely was and that's the model for success that we want in all of our relationships yes that makes sense so we have to be very careful how we define success and then build that into our relationship with our students thanks dave now mentors know what to do 